Hey all, Nix here. I just wanted to go ahead and give a quick guide about managing your items when you're trying to speed up a run or being efficient in your runs. Because there are certain items that are more, worth more than others when they're unidentified to you as a player. So, I'm going to first start out with the obvious ones. When you're out in the wilderness, you're always going to want to be picking up rares that can benefit you. So, for instance, if you're a two-handed mace player, you're obviously going to want to pick up the two-handed maces and identify them and see if they're an upgrade. Those are the no-brainer ones. Everybody's going to do that. Um, you may want to skip the big eight-slot axes if you don't use them, because they take up a lot of room, but I usually grab them anyways, because I think that uh, identifying rares is worth it. And the reason why identifying rares is worth it is because there are certain rares that can give you alchemy shards. Um, the mods in question that can give you alchemy shards are things that increase the item quantity slash rarity of items that drop. Things with chaos resistance, like this shield. You can see it rewards an alchemy shard in this vendor. And things that increase the level of gems socketed into them. Those three mods will uh, give you an alchemy shard in return. And I've heard talk that they've also made it so that uh, block chance on shields rewards an alchemy shard as well. Um, I have not been able to confirm that yet, but keep an eye out for those two. Additionally, if you have a flask with the surgeons mod, it will also reward an alchemy shard. So just keep an eye out for those things. If you have them in your inventory, you don't want to drop them for any reason because alchemy shards are valuable. And if they're free, you might as well want to keep them. Um, other things that you're going to want to pick up, other than the obvious ones, are any blue boot, because they might have movement speed on them. Movement speed is a very valuable stat. You're going to be wanting to pick up any blue flask, because you can get really good mods in your flasks. Um, like this one. I found this one on the ground. Uh, charge recovery, movement speed, that will that greatly increases your, uh, your clear speed, and it's very valuable to have a flask like this in a race or something where you're trying to be efficient. Um, so any blue boot is great to pick up. Um, you're also going to be wanting to pick up jewelry that's blue. And the reason you want to pick up jewelry that's blue is because the mod pool for jewelry is so big that the odds that you get a good rare one are incredibly small. So by picking up every blue uh, piece of jewelry that you find, you're actually increasing the likelihood that you can get a piece of jewelry that you can actually use and benefit from. I usually chance jewelry as well, like onyx amulets if I get them, because they can roll uh, rare or blue, and it's the same as like finding a blue one on the ground then. I usually save my chances for those. Um, and if you get lucky, you know, you might get a, a really, really good one. But, um, and then finally, I also like to grab blue belts, and that's because I never find blue belts, like, uh, I never find uh, good belts in a vendor, usually. There are a few occasions that I do, but, um, just grabbing blue belts is great. Um, never forget that you have uh, transmutation shards either. So, oh look, 10% increased last charge is gained. That's a really good mod. I'm glad I did that. So, generally, uh, boots, jewelry, belts, and flasks are the uh, blues that I will pick up if I'm running, just because of how valuable they can be. Um, you're also going to want to be grabbing uh, items that have... Uh, one of each color socket linked together. This one has a, a second blue socket, but that doesn't matter. Because they vendor for a chromatic orb. Um, so, if you have uh, rares with those uh, affixes, if you have linked boots, uh, or linked anything like that, you're going to want to keep those in your inventory. And if you have to make room in your inventory by dropping things, you're going to want to make sure you don't drop those. So... That's how I manage items. Those are the things you want to look out for. Vendors can sell boots with movement speed. And vendors can sell three linked items as well. So you're going to want to keep an eye out for those uh, from a vendor. I usually check boots every so often. When I start a race, I'll check the vendor at level 1 for move movement speed boots. And they can be really helpful. Um, the vendors reset every level, so you can check them every level if you want. You can check every town's vendor because they all reset. But that's kind of a pain, but... Uh, in the later levels, it can be really worth it because you can get good stuff off all of them. So, I hope this short little guide to managing your inventory in a situation where you have to be fast or efficient helped. And I thank you for your time for watching. Thanks for subscribing if you had, and I will see you all tomorrow.